Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a, um, what I like to use for pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn season. And the first one I like to use, um, is the, drop, um, Lucky Strike Drop Shot Worm. Drop Shot Worm. Um, I like to use, like, um, a number two, like a three or four hook size bait holder hook from Gamagatsu. Just so we get through the nose, I'm gonna drop with the drop shot way just floats like this. And um hey, sorry I haven't been uploading videos, it's just I've been busy with um school and other stuff I have to do. And um the color I don't know, it's like a tan the color I don't know what it is, it's like a tan with red, green, and black flakes in it. You can leave the color in the description below. And here is another one in watermelon red. Like to use, like to use all these on ten pound mono. And here's another one with in watermelon seed. It's a big thing on tail them on that, but you can buy a pack of um. You can buy this lucky strike um. Bass 128 kit for 24.95, and um, yeah. So anyway, um, the other one I like to use for pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn season are the Lucky Strike Curly Tail Worms, and this one in six inch, no five inch probably, in um, watermelon seed. I like to use this in bright water. And with a screw on weight, where I mean, screw on hook, where you screw it on to the top and rig it in in three odd from Gamagatsu. This one in grape, aqua flake, and another one in purple, aqua flake, pink tail. Um, on this, I like to use 20 pound. Um, Braid on it from Zep Zepco, and this one, 10 pound mono from Trilene Berkeley. And um, I'll show you the rods I use for them right now. And um, here's is one, and uh, here's my um, curly tail worm swim bait, and yeah. In Carolina rig and jig worm, I mean bait, bait caster. Like to um, it's the Abugas Abu Garcia. <coughs> Sorry guys, an Abu Garcia ambassador tournament grade rod, six and a half foot, medium heavy, and um, with twenty sixty pound, I mean twenty pound Zebco. Braid with and um, it's a really good rod. I like to use. It has lots of backbone in it. It um, really work the rod. I mean the lure. And um, here is the lure I was talking to you guys about the curly tail worm with drop shot on it. It has this little screw on top where you put it on. Here is like a four ounce or a four eighth ounce or a sixteenth three sixteenth ounce weight. Um. There it is rigged, everything on it, and um, the way I like to fish this is just, you know, pitch it, pitch it or cast it out there, let it sink all the way to the bottom, let the fish notice it, um, then just let it sit there for about a couple seconds, then just slowly bring your rod up, let so it's like on the floor and it just keeps going down the floor until you get to the shore, and this is like my... Wacky worm, drop shot worm, and um, flipping, and it's like a punching and flipping, Caroline, uh, wacky worming, and drop shot rod. Uh, it's this is a combo. It's the ultra balance six and a half foot medium action rod with um, there's this little split grip right here, and the reel. The reel that's sitting on the rod is the Abu Garcia, I mean the Ultra Balance rod from Pencil. 
and um, and with 10 pound mono on it. But this is the drop shot rig, the six ounce. I mean the number six uh, Gamagatsu hook uh, bait holder with the boa weight from e Eagle Claw, I think it is. And um, the way I like to fish it is just to cast, pitch it out there, and it, pitch it or cast it out there, but at the same time just slowly jerk it off, the pull it off up off off the uh, ground and wait till the bass hits it. And um. I uh, haven't been fishing lately, like I said, because I'm busy, but going out today to fish with my friend. Oh, and um, the reel is a 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, 2 bearings. Yeah, and I um, forgot to name the reel on this one. It's the Shakespeare Axiom Rod. I mean, reel. Six, and it has. Four bearings, six three to one gear ratio with twenty pound Zebco braid. Um, these are both these are all really both really good rods and reels I'm using. Can definitely work the bait really good. This one I've only had about for like since two thousand eleven, so I had about two years. <coughs> and this one was my first bait caster. I got it in two thousand nine. So I had it for this one for longer than the what, the first one I showed you, and um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, you guys please leave um what lure you'd like to what you like to use, and I'll try to buy it, and um, I'll try it out on the water if you guys give me a recommendation in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoy it, and um. Catch one for me. And, um, I like using those rods and reels set up, and I hope you guys should try it. And, um, so, yeah, see ya.